me again. So, three years ago, I decided to build myself a camper van, or start building myself a camper van, with the um, strict instructions from Mrs. Hemsley that we had to have a certain range of stuff. As you can see, we've also got the doofs. Um, and I successfully managed to do it and finish it right in the middle of lockdown. But both of you, via one slightly boozy night out and using it as a place to fall asleep, I've never actually been out done any camping. So, as apparently it's my sixth wedding anniversary or something tomorrow, um, me and um, the Ayatollah are going camping. I've been ready for about two hours. So um, anyway, what I'll do, I'll give you a tour of my camera. I was going to do a little episode on how we built it, how long it took, what's in it, what it is, and also we'll have a bit of a roar around because I'm actually not working on the Saturday and I finished at two o'clock on the Friday, which never happens. So the sun's are shining, I'll swing this camera around. Basically, let's this, go. as the wife has named it, is Gino. Uh, Gino the Campo or some, something like that. I'll just call it Mercedes Sprinter. So it is a uh, 314 uh, T3 petrol gas converted Merc factory type thing. Funnily enough, if you've watched any of our other videos, um, you'll see I've got two of them because every man needs two of them. Um, I bought this off some nice man for 500 quid, bit broke. Uh, must be getting on for like four years ago. Um, to be honest, in the original thing, I was going to break it for spares. And then I looked at it and I thought, hmm, make a bad camper van, mainly because it's Euro compliant, so you can drive into all the major cities of Europe now, all the major cities in England, and not have to worry about it. Um, so we had a choice between this or my big 416, and the trouble of the long wheelbase 416, lovely van, but it's massive, doesn't fit in a car parking space um, anywhere. And it was just too big, and in theory, with a bit of thought and a bit of sense, um, you should be able to make a good camper van out of a medium wheelbase eye top um, instead of a long wheelbase. Now it is tight, um, but so we've done loads to it. It's been welded up, re-sprayed. Mechanically, it's pretty good. It's just had a load of service work and sort of stuff. Um, but all of the stuff you see here, basically, not that I'm tight or anything, has been recycled from vehicles that we've bought in to break. So via time and effort, I've spent very little actual wonker on it. So it's got 15 inch AZ alloy wheels with a set of BF Goodbridge all terrain tyres. It is, I think, registered as a camper, so we're not going to worry about load ratings on them, they're fine. Um, if we hop inside, sit down, Doof. This is Doof. So we got Doof, sit, Doof, you're going, sit. It's a nice seat, Doof, good, go. So we've got uh, individual front seats. I mean, we had a seat box floating around the yard. Um, great leather. They're actually salvaged from a, from a dead Vito Ambient. And if you're ever considering doing this, they work really well. They look very Mercedes-ish. Um, and they've been perfect. Uh, that's the the floor mat out of a thingy Mercedes riot van that we dragged in. And then basically this is the rest of it. So because um, I'm nice and short, I'm only like five foot six, I can sleep across the van sideways. So we put in a, um, the bed is big square and across the back, there are some curtains for it, by the way. Um, the female in my life, let me just go back this way, obviously insisted that we had to have a bathroom and a shower. Now this was quite difficult because there's not much room in here. So we have a shower that's good enough to get you wet, um, a fold down sink, and a that food because that's tall enough. So that she that must be obeyed can go to the loo at three o'clock in the morning without having to go and pee in a hedge. Um, dee, dee, dee. We have gas fridge. Uh, that was recycled out of a dead camper van that came in. Um, above it obviously is the control panel. This is the, I think the sink came out of a, of a dead oimer. Um, immediately I did buy the oven that came out of a boat. Um, we've got gas blown night heating over there. That was in a dead transit camper van. So that's a um, Propex heat source 4000. Um, tucked under the back around here is also oop, is a Propex Malaga gas water heater. And then in the back of it, 
I have got to change that because this gas bottle, which is a gas flow one, gas flow one refillable one, should be in its own individual cupboard, but I haven't got around to it yet. Um, on the generator, and then all tucked in here. So Probex Malaga um, gas water heater, loads of batteries in front of it. Um, that is the back of the P Source 4000 poking out. Underneath here um, is a decent sized sure flow um, water pump and in front of it is a well, um, one of those pressure softeners, uh, 60 litre um, fresh water tank, which is outside, which does something, a little Honda generator for when Madam needs to run a hair dryer like they do. Um, obviously the bottom is LPG refiller. Oh, gold. Um, obviously you did two family events to buy those new um, caravan cupboards. I think that one came out of a horse box conversion we did where we converted a Equitrack horse box into a very large four person sleeping by motorcycle carrying device. Um, these were out of a dead caravan. Um, rear ladders off a dead transit. Um, safety bar came off for a dead LT35 long wheelbase fan. And to be honest, uh, oh yeah, uh, I've got about 10 of them floating around, um, but three metre uh, Famia awning, we've got the awning room for it as well, but I don't need it today. And then above that is the Rhino roof rack that came off another dead LT28 that came in. It was long wheelbase, but we just took one bit out of it. And everything else in here, basically, I have made from stuff that was floating around our yard. Um, it's taken me about three and a half, I'm sure it was about three years, three and a half years. Anyway, I'm gonna, there's a load of photographs and bits and bobs and flashy stuff I'm gonna add now with some descriptions. Um, so you can have a look at that. You can see where we started, where we got to now. Um, we've even bought ourselves, we've got the Brit Stops book, which was worth a mention. So if you're considering doing this, I think the Brit Stops idea is really good. And um, we did buy last year's Brit Stops, but actually never got out, because of course we were all still locked down. Um, so we're going to go for the first night out of me. I don't think Doofbag's coming. I think she's staying with the in-laws, but we haven't told her that yet. Um, and the Ayatollah are, um, are off to Devon, I think. I don't know. I don't make decisions like that. Right. Catch you later, people.